In this lesson, we're going to look at another meta character, this time just one meta character, the curly brace, or just the brace, which represents the quantifier meta character. So let me get started first by creating a text file that we're going to use to check regular expressions. Once we get into the lesson, it'll be clear exactly what these strings are for. So let me save the file and let's get started. The quantifier meta character, the brace, allows us to specify how many times we want something to match. So for example, I had several strings in string.txt that were of the form x, y, and then one or more y's, x. If I want to match exactly that pattern, I can write it like this, grep, dash e, these are extended grep meta characters again. And then I can write x, y, and then open curly brace 1, close curly brace x, and then the name of my file. And when I hit enter, you'll see that it matched exactly one time. And then what if I want to see if it will match at least one time? That regular expression will look like this. One comma, then close the brace, and then finish out the regular expression. So there you'll see it matched every single x, y, x pattern in the file. We can also specify a range like so. Here I'm saying match the y at least two times, but no more than three. What we should see when we evaluate the expression is x, y, y, x and x, y, 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 x. So let's try and see what we get. And there we get exactly what we thought. So you're probably wondering exactly what good is this particular meta character. Well, one example pattern that we could use this quantifier with is a social security number, where you have a series of three digits followed by a dash, followed by two digits, followed by a dash, followed by four digits, and it has to be exactly that. So we could write that regular expression like this. Three digits for the first part, followed by a dash. Two digits for the second part, followed by a dash. Four digits for the last part, and then close out the regular expression. And we run that on string.txt, and we get back 123-45-6789. We also had this string in the file, but it didn't match because it didn't have three digits in the first part. So the quantifier can help you specify how many times you want a particular character or a particular thing to match in a row, like match two Ys but not more than three Ys in the pattern. And then we provided a practical example where we demonstrated how we could use the quantifier to make sure that a social security number was entered in the correct format. So that wraps up this lesson on the quantifier meta character. Now we're going to move on to the next lesson where we're going to look at some shortcuts for character classes such as digits and alphabetic characters.